Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is on how to write the standard form of quadratic equations. In our previous video, ang ginawa natin is we introduced the standard form of any quadratic equations, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, wherein yung ating main variable is yung variable x, and then yung ating a b and c are just the constants and coefficients of the equation. So, review lang muna tayo. This part of the equation is called the quadratic term. Okay, this is your quadratic term. And then this part of the equation is called the linear term. And lastly, this one is called as the constant term. Constant. Now, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat ng mga terms to ay yung quadratic term natin. Kasi pag nawala yung quadratic term natin, automatic, that equation is not an example of quadratic equation. So, without further ado, let's start writing equations in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So, yeah. so we have here examples. Write each quadratic equation in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Then after that, kailangan natin identify the values of a, b, and c. So, we have here four examples na kailangan natin gawin. So, let's start with item number one. So, following the pattern or the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, you need to memorize the placement of each term. You have the quadratic term first, followed by the linear term, and then your constant, and then equal to zero. So, as you can see here, in our example, the problem here is that your quadratic term is not in front of the equation. So, kailangan natin rearrange yung ating equation. And then, as you can see, this term should be placed sa left side ng ating equation. Kailangan na punta siya rito. Okay? So, let's start doing that. So, arrange muna natin to itong ating quadratic term. That should be negative 7x squared plus 5x pinagpalit natin ng pwesto, and then you need to transpose this term to the other side of the equation kasi nga, dapat in your writing equations in standard form dapat walang ibang terms ang matitira sa right side, bukod kay 0. So, if transpose natin yung 7, magabago siya ng sign. From positive, it will become negative. So, you have negative 7 or minus 7 be equal to 0. So, as you can see, parehas na yung pattern nila. You have your quadratic term in the first as the first term of the equation linear and constant pero ang kailangan ko lang masabi sa inyo that in writing equations in standard form dapat yung ating first term is always positive so anong gagawin natin ngayon to make it positive i-multiply na natin yung buong equation by negative so you have this one magbabago yung sign ng first term that will be positive 7 x squared, and then itong second, syempre yung second term natin, it will become negative 5x and then yung inyong constant times negative times negative, that will be positive 7 is equal to 0. So this is the standard form of the first given quadratic equation. Ang next natin gagawin is to identify the value of a. Your a is definitely 7, ito siya. Your b is equal to negative 5. Your c is equal to 7. So that's it. Those are the values of a, b, and c. Now let's move on to item number 2. You have here the quantity of x plus 5 times the quantity of x plus 7 is equal to 0. So yung right side natin, okay na siya kasi equal to 0 na siya. Ang problema na lang natin ay itong left side, which is, you need to simplify and remove the parentheses or the grouping symbols. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong 
parenthesis, ibig sabihin, you need to multiply it. And since sila ay binomials, you can apply FOIL method. x times x, that will be x squared. And then x times 7, you have plus 7x. Then 5 times x, plus 5x. Then this one, 5 times 5, that will give you plus 35 is equal to 0. And then, combine like terms. Kasi para silang merong x variable or para silang linear term. So you have here x squared plus 12x plus 35 is equal to 0. This is the standard form of the second equation. And then you need to identify the value of a. Your a is definitely 1 kasi meron siya invisible 1. And then your b is equal to this, 12. Your c is none other than 35. Okay, that's it for item number 2. Now let's move on to the next example. You have item number 3. So meron na naman tayong parenthesis. Meaning you need to multiply. Pero distributive property lang gagamitin natin. You have 2x times x that will give you 2x squared. Okay? And then this one, 2x minus 2x times negative 4, that is negative 8x. And then it's equal to 15. As you can see, ito yung problema natin. Kailangan maging equal to 0. Meaning you need to transpose this term to the other side of the equation. Okay? So this will be 2x squared minus 8x. Since we will transpose positive 15 to the other side, it will become negative 15 or minus 15 be equal to 0. And tada, this is the standard form of the equation. Your a is 2, your b, ito ah, huwag yung sabi, hindi, hindi yan 8, kasama nyo yung sign na yan, that will be negative 8, at ito rin sinyo, that is negative 15. So, we are down to the last example. Medyo mahirap siya, pero kakayanin natin. Okay? So, for our last example, my dear students, as you can see, you have here the quantity of x plus 1 raised to 2. You have here the exponent of 2 is equal to 3x minus 2 raised to 2. You can do the shortcut or use the pattern. Pero, since gusto ko ituro sa inyo ito manually, itong squared na, ito, na yan, ang ibig sabihin yan, you can expand that as x plus 1 times x plus 1. Okay? Yung x plus 1 raised to 2 natin is equivalent to x plus 1 times x plus 1. Same with this right side of the equation. Expand natin bilang 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2. Multiplying it, gamit yung FOIL method, x squared, ito ay plus x, 1 times x is plus x uli. 1 times 1, that will give you 1, of course. This one, 3x times 3x, that will give you 9x squared. And then this one, minus 6x. Ito rin, minus 6x. Ito is plus 4. Okay? So, ang target natin ngayon is to rearrange the equation. So, ang ginagawa ko dito, combine ko muna itong dalawang ito, sa keto. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. So, normally, <coughs> excuse me, um ginagawa ko dito, you can transpose this term to so the other, this term to so the other side. Pero, Ang gawin natin, ang transpose na lang natin ay itong mga na nasa left side. So, we will be having 
0 is equal to 9x squared transpose ito sa kabila punta rito it will give you negative x squared minus 12x kinopya ko lang transpose natin itong 2x kabila it will give you minus 2x negative na siya and then itong, itong positive 1 transpose natin dito so plus 4 kopyahin ko minus 1 simplify natin that will give you 0 is equal to 9x squared minus ah sorry this 9 not 9x squared it will be 8x squared minus 14x plus 3 so ang gawin natin ngayon um since meron tayong property of equality na pwede natin pagpalitin yan pwede natin pagpalitin ng pwesto gawin natin 8x squared minus 14x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, hindi tayo na-transpose ha. Pinagpalit lang natin yung pwesto ng left side sa right side. Kasi pwede naman yun. So, here, your A is equal to 8. Your B is equal to negative 14. Your C is equal to 3. So, medyo mahaba. So, pero kaya nyo yan. Okay? Now, let's move on to our activity. I will give you three examples or activity, item activity, wherein you will be answering this one para ma-apply nyo kung ano yung natutunan nyo sa ating video. Again, you need to write the following equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So, I will be waiting for your answers sa ating comment section para makita natin if you if you really understand how to rewrite equations or how to rewrite quadratic equations in standard form. Again, sana natuto kayo sa ating video. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo.